And uh, I'm going to take it away from you, Kathy, because I don't think it's right that you should start this segment. Like well, that. I appreciate that because I didn't know what <laughs> I was going to say. So listen to me, like you have to. Do it every time, we so. are back. This is the second segment of the hour, and I'm Catherine Hatcher. And today, I thought it would be good to interview Kathy Hines. I mean, we we see her here every single week, and uh, we're not really mm-hmm. sure what all she does. So I thought this would be a great opportunity. My to husband talk to often her. asked me that. Go, He's like, do? Are you, yeah, what do you do over there? Yeah, what did you do? Right. What was does that? Not watch? What? He needs to watch. He watches all the time. He's oh, very okay. instrumental. He's back there cutting the tapes and all the other stuff. Oh, He's definitely the wind beneath my wings. Oh, what a good hubby yeah. you have. Yes. Well, let me tell the viewers a little bit about who you are. You, Kathy Hines, is a radio host coach. She's the executive producer of this show and CEO of Hines Go Radio Network. Kathy is currently the host of this show with, um, we've got 12 other hosts, but I think it fluctuates, so about 12 other hosts here on the show at Celebrity U Radio TV, yeah. and she broad- we broadcast on Thursdays from 12 to 2 every Thursday. Yeah, right now, that's all we have, but you know, oh, well, we're I growing. Know you have future plans. Yeah. Now, you were born and raised here in Dallas, right? Oh, born and raised third generation here in Dallas, fifth right. generation Texan. Well, she deems herself a pioneer of and a solopreneur. Out of college, she partnered with, other, with a college friend and published a professional woman magazine. And she later founded and ran a legal staffing company, Legal Eagles Network, working as a legal headhunter while going after her dreams of being a stand-up comic. Yeah, that stand-up comic. Can't you see it? Can't yeah, you see no, it? I see it sneak out of you every once in a while here on the you know, show. You know, anytime you're working with lawyers, you got to have a sense of humor. Well, that and a few other <laughs> types of careers, but you're right about that. Now, Kathy eventually sold the company in April 2009 and went to work for a Dallas radio station where she found out she had a real knack for creating, producing, and marketing radio shows. Yeah. She co-hosted a show with Jeff Klein of Klein Creative, and he's been on our show a couple of times, and he's with the Speaker Co-op, and their show was called The Business Networking Brunch. And what she learned from this experience was that all the networking in the world cannot get you the visibility, the credibility, and the access to the people necessary to grow and market your business that hosting your own radio show provides. Now, she was inspired by ex-CBS radio production staffers. And I think Jimmy happens to be one of those, <laughs> yes. And he, she was uh, motivated by their success in using Internet radio to simultaneously broadcast radio shows with video. And in January 2010, Kathy joined them and founded High School Radio Network. Now, Kathy coaches her business speaker, authors, and other clients on being, a, uh, being talk radio show hosts and develops their confidence, their show content, and sponsors so they, too, can brand themselves and their business using the high visibility, credibility, and celebrity access that becoming a media figure creates. Yes. And that's how Celebrity Radio TV yes. Show was born. Now I want to talk about why why be a host, why, why internet radio as opposed to any other type of radio. So let me just start off by asking you about the, the whys. And one of the ones that interested me on your list of whys was that you receive heightened respect and, and standing among your peers. And I could see how that would be because I think we all respect people who have authored a book or been on the radio or are on TV. Wouldn't you, would you say that's, that's exactly That's what's what the media, being a media figure and um, being an author and the speaker. And the, I do have a lot of people, including you, that are a professional speaker. And it, you know, get, getting in front of audiences and being someone that can communicate and talk and visible, because people get used to seeing me. And uh, and it 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 allows you that to know people that they get to know you a little bit more. It's kind of like when you watch television, you think you know somebody. I mean, I watch, and I'm always talking about HSM because I, I used to watch that all the time. Mm-hmm. And, and, but those people actually have a following. They're selling things. Right. They're actually up there selling earrings. So if, you, if, if I'm somebody on HSN who has a following, no matter what it is I'm selling, because I'm the one selling it, they're most likely to buy yes. it then, right? Yes, because they're going to want, they like the way you handle the guests and, and you're funny, you know, and right. the way you talk and deliver and the information. You, I mean, you can never get up there and just be, 
you've got to have something to say, and it's got to be of value in education. And the and the the, the thing is, you can an infomercial. We all watch them every night, mm -hmm. and certainly people can have infomercial radio shows. I'm not mm -hmm. saying don't because if you've got the money, go ahead. But the point is, is we talk about in networking, don't sell the room. Right. And it's the same thing in radio. Right. So Now, I did a, a project a while back, and I was studying celebrity worshiping, and a third of Americans ce uh, celebrate and, and they worship celebrities, and some to a degree that is unhealthy, but... A third of I think it would be unhealthy that. if they worshipped yeah. me. I don't no, know. No, but what I, what I was going to ask you, <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. You probably have somebody out there that tunes hey, in yeah. just for, you know, because it's Kathy Hines. But let me ask you, have you noticed that your visibility, because of all the visibility, humble, that yeah. when you're at networking events, people sort of just flock to you? Have you noticed? Yes, and, and, and I'm both complimented, and, and but it all co also comes from they think they know me more. I think that it's not just Kathy. She's... She's on the radio. I think it's Kathy. I know her. You know, she she talks about you know she knows people I know. Uh, she they identify with me. So I think it's more of they feel like a kindred. You know, because mm -hmm. I know that and and so it does. And it, and and, it, and and I and I enjoy it, but it does affect my networking a little bit because I come in there and I want to you know if there's someone I want to see them. It's kind of hard to get to, so y'all stick around when I'm at the networking events, and 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 please come up to me, because I don't want you to think that I, because I, I love visiting with everybody, and um, just, no one's asked for my autograph. No, I, well, okay, people, ask her for her autograph. No, 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 no. <laughs> no but I, I'm no looking. One. I can, I can. I'm looking for the day that you say, hey, contact my people. They're going to contact your people. I mean, you're becoming. And quite if I ever do, Catherine, I want you to go. Okay, I'm going to go, Kathy. The, enough at yourself. Yes, enough at <laughs> yourself. Because I really don't want to be that type of person. Uh, I think we've all seen it or we've known it. The thing is, and the key in my, I feel to be successful in radio is to be authentic, and basically your authentic self. And you can you can have some stick, and you can mm -hmm. do some things that make you. Feel, I happen to be get funny when I'm nervous. Mm -hmm. Now maybe you're watching this and you think, well, she's a comic, but no, but that's why I was a comic. I'm, I get nervous, mm -hmm. and I I react in a I want to laugh, make people laugh, and and so it kind of it kind of spurs me on. Now Jimmy has his show. And he's very authentic with what he does, and it it resonates. Right. And and I think what's great about radio TV is, you know, we're talking about it as being radio, but with these webcams all over the place, I mean, people are actually getting to know us. And aren't they building relationships with us that make us stand out in our industry and that kind of thing, too? Yes, yes. I mean, um, the I modeled this whole thing after radio because... They really have a good model in the way their clocks are set up, the way the, um, uh, the it, rather than television, because television requires a lot more backdrop. This is kind of a radio show with uh, cameras, but it definitely is, I think, beneficial. Now, some people say they have a face for radio, but even if you don't have to be a model and, and perfect looking to, to, to use this media, we have plenty of examples of people. Women have a little bit, men can do it more easier than, than yes, women can. But, but it all comes in how you come off because we've had, you know, I don't want to name celebrities and then say that they don't look good because they all look, look to me great. But we know those that aren't the perfect model Types, look that right. you would th think. So it's a, your personality coming through. And I think the camera gives you that ability.